Right, so we're on the mission to get the ute finished today. Get that back down in its keep again. Uh, won't be finished finished, but it'll be ready for a waff kind of thing. Still need to look for a few parts for it and get into that. So hopefully we can fix the brakes on that, I don't know. Got a part on order, see if it's going to be the right part. Right, a bit of an update time. The ute looks probably a lot different. Um, I was going to video it all, but it's kind of running out of time. I just wanted to get her back together. So, since we last seen it, I've done doors, guards, bonnet, had the grill painted matte black, got some lights and got the tray on. We're almost done. We're almost done. She can get back to work. But, yeah, there's still a tray full of parts. Uh, but hopefully, by the end of today, if the weather holds up, it looks like it's going to. <clears throat> by the end of today, we'll be pretty close. Um, I think last time we left off, I was putting interior in. So I've got all the dashboard in, except for the, the vents. So I need to find some black ones. This seat's bolted in, need to bolt that seat in, center console, da 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 da, keep going. Yeah, so that's the door trim. Once we have some door cards, fuck, heaps. Um, so I'll get into it and we'll go from there and I'll show you where we're at and what we're doing. I wrapped to have the tray back on. I got that back on in like a couple of hours or an hour or something. So, yeah. Gonna paint the tow bar, put that back on. Yeah, right, let's get into it. So, cleaned off the tray a bit. Get all the broken glass from the original window screen and all that off there. Gonna strip this other moo door down for all its good bits. Start putting them into that one. And then at least that door can bugger off too. Oh, I think I'll start with the mirror. Because we're gonna put the chrome mirrors on here and the chrome door handles. Although, I need to find another chrome door handle and another chrome mirror for the driver's side because they were broken off the other one. So, <coughs> anyway, let's get into it. Oh, look, there's a Corvette. Yeah, so we got, we got seats in there, center console with the bag, proper bit of center console. One door card on. Just tried to fit up the fit up the original rodeo bumper and does not fit. So tidying up the Moo bumper the best we can. Put that one on there. The Mars just over here painting up some bits and pieces. Tow bar's drying, won't forget that painted up. Still gotta do that door cut. And that fucking steering wheel. Alright, so I ended up uh, leaving the rodeo bumper on there because the Moo one was different again. But yeah, got the front bar on, got the lights working. Just giving the tray a bit of a sweep off. All that doors back together. Still going to have to hunt out a few parts for it. Just things like this door card up here is a bit, yeah, a bit rough. You know, I need to get a bolt for up there and a sun visor and a black steering wheel but all in all considering the fact that this used to be a bench seat ute and it was like a champagne gold color it ain't bad with brown like everything was brown like that it was yuck and we got the old custom made shift the boot In the console that's going to be handy for all the, all the straps and shit in there. Well, they went to hang around the back, and then down here. I don't know where you can see it. We got some speaker boxes for when I get some speakers for it. And then, yeah, gotta chuck some seat covers, some nice seat covers on these seats. And yeah, just gotta wait for the couple of little bits left that need to be painted. 
one being like this bit here it goes on that and then the clips that hold that trim down down there and then yeah I need to find somewhere where I can get this in black so at the moment it's still the brown I don't know how well you can see it but it's still like the brownie color yeah there you go but it holds all the roof liner and everything up so if anybody's got any ideas of where I can get this stuff it's got like a metal thing inside it in black I can just buy a length of it or whatever it is so yeah and the tow bar I need to put the tow bar on but I've lost the bolt for it I have to buy a new bolt so here she goes on her maiden voyage give it a rip It's been a while since mum's driven the ute. I didn't end up with too many spears. Yeah, roll some coal. <laughs> so this video, you're all going to get a bit of a two for one. As you've seen, my truck's still sitting in the background. Still can't use it. Because now, the master cylinder shit itself. Well, I can't find out what else is wrong with the brakes. And this is the last thing that I can think of that it would be. Problem is, I can't get one. So now I have to try and remove it and get it matched up, I suppose. But I bet you when I take the battery out, that battery tray is going to be cooked and I'll have to ring up Carl and get one of them. But let's see. So, yeah, now the ute's done, we'll get into this one. So, get back to you once I pull that out. And if anyone's got one of these, like I think by looking at it, the bolts are like on a 45 degree angle like from here down to there and all the other ones I can find just go straight across even the new ones like it's not an expensive part but I don't want to rebuild it because I have a feeling the cylinder is going to be cooked so let's have a look fuck but you wouldn't believe it but I found the 10 mil straight away I'm just using my shit tools that are at home and far out I don't think I've seen this 10 mil in ages here we go, here's one of those perfect examples of engineers not giving a fuck about mechanics. So I have to undo those two bolts that are down there. So I got them out. But to take the battery tray out, take the battery tray out to remove the cylinder, it needs to go that way. Come on, Suzuki, tell me. Suzuki, tell me how to fuck. Am I supposed to remove this part? Without bending everything. <sighs> Lucky it's a bush truck. Well, there we go for everybody who keeps telling me, no, it can't be on a 45 degree angle. It can't be on a 45 degree angle. That looks pretty 45 degree angle to me. It doesn't look like it goes straight across, does it? Alright, so if anyone in the community has a brake mask cylinder, it looks like this one. Can you let me know if you want to sell it to me? Because I can't find one. I've rung everywhere. No one seems to do them with a 45 degree angle. So yeah. That is where we're at for that. Okay, so I finally found a master cylinder. Um wasn't as cheap as the original one that I ordered, but it, either way, it's all good. But, my brakes are still shit. My pedal just keeps going to the floor when you're trying to drive it. Um, so, I'm assuming it wasn't that. So, I'm starting to get to a bit of a, a, bit of a loss with this thing. Well, it's actually... It's really starting to rub me up the wrong way, to be honest. Um, if there's any, if there's anyone out there that knows a bit more about brakes on Suzuki's, can you, can you hit me up? Because 
I really want to get out using this thing again. Like we went out the other day and I had to leave it at home pretty much. I can't drive it. I can't drive it 45 minutes to to go to where we were going to go and feel safe with my kids in the truck and that. The only thing that I can think of that I haven't really looked at too much is the load sensor valve in the rear but I'm not 100% sure on how those even work. Well, I know how it works, but the truck's been lifted, so I don't know if I can just disconnect it and and push it push it to one way, or tie it one way, and see if it breaks back, or if I can bypass it, or something. So yeah, if anyone out there actually, actually knows, um, yeah, hit me up. So I can get this thing back on the road and get some more content. Because, um, yeah. So anyway, the ute's um, back on its way doing its thing. It's already done like four tip loads or something like that. The Suzuki's clearly not doing any thing. Um, I've got another video coming up as well where we did go out. I was going to take the Suzuki, but oh, I didn't end up taking the Suzuki. Just went in Shane's badge and Chris took his Jeep. And yeah, but it was a good. It was a good day. We went out Red Rocks, and then we went from Red Rocks to Red, oh, Oddlands. So we went from the beach to the hills. And um, yeah, there is a big slip up there, and but I'll cover that in the next video. <clears throat> so yeah, thanks for watching. And yeah, hopefully I'll release the other video in a few days.